In my previous video, I showed you how you can use a photo reference to quickly design a logo using the sketch tools. Uh, while this is uh, simple enough to do in Fusion, sometimes you already have a vector file uh, known as an SVG file, and you can use that directly um, to create your sketch, so you don't actually have to use all your sketch tools. So it's, uh, it's pretty simple to use, uh, but um, there are a couple of things you can do to optimize bringing in your your, fi your vector file to make sure that it works uh, well with your design. So here I have a little keychain blank that I designed, and I want to put my logo near future on the front of this keychain. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to have a uh, vector file. So I'm going to go over to um, Inkscape, and I have my logo here. And uh, this is uh, basically just how it's been saved in the past. So I'm going to show you how it looks right here. And uh, if I went and I saved this, I'll save as. And then it said, this is the not optimized version. I'll just go ahead and say OK. And uh, we're going to bring that into uh, Fusion using the Insert menu. Uh, we're going to insert the SVG file and we're going to select the front of our keychain blank here. I'm going to click on the little file and select near future not optimized and bring this guy in. So as you can see it has brought in the entire build area from Inkscape. So the entire page here is in and that doesn't really reflect the size of the the actual text. Now, while I could resize it and guess to see if I could fit there, uh, that's not always the easiest way to do it. If uh, I went all the way in here and uh, resized it all the way down to actually fit onto my, uh, my keychain as is, then it, we're going to fi find out that the text is very small, and that's not what we wanted. So I'm going to control Z twice real quick and uh, come back out of there. And then we're gonna go back into Inkscape and I'm gonna show you some ways that we can optimize this to make sure that uh, we're only using the space of the, uh, the actual uh, vector image that we wanna use. So uh, under the file menu, you'll find uh, document properties, select that. And first thing we should do is underneath general here, uh, just make sure your default units is uh, set to millimeters. Uh, 3D printers use millimeters. Um, my plotter at the Makerspace also uses uh, millimeters. So having this set to a real world um, number is much better than uh, the default, which is usually, uh, I believe, pixels here. So I'm going to make sure that it's set to millimeters. And then that way, if you design anything to be a certain size, when you import it, it should be the right size. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we want to get rid of the rest of this page. And the way that we do that is under the, uh, the size menu here. We're going to resize page to the selection. So that's just going to resize to the size of the actual uh, vector graphic that we're going to use here. I'll select OK. Come back over and save as. Um, this one is also already been saved, but we'll check it out. Bring that in. And uh, if I come back to my keychain blank, we'll just repeat our steps from earlier. Insert SVG. Select our front face of the uh, keychain here. Select the file. Select the optimized one. And now we have the uh, the new box, which this definitely represents the the shape of the text a lot better, and so it'll be a lot easier for us to place it directly on the keychain. So I'll just uh, resize it there, and then reposition, and uh, that should fit in there just fine. I'll click OK, and brings in my text. Now all I really need to do is I can use this to uh, create my uh, extrusions so that um, my logo is now on my keychain. So I'll just extrude, I'll say four millimeters is fine, click OK, and there we go. So 
hopefully that'll make things a little bit easier for you if you are uh, planning on bringing in vector files. Uh, people that have been doing graphics for a number of years probably are already optimizing their files this way, but uh, if you're just getting started, um, you might not know these tricks. So hopefully this will be uh, helpful for you. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.